Put this call on hold, okay, babe? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's up? What's going on, man? How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much for uh, doing this, man. It means a lot to me. Yeah, no problem. So, uh... Are you, are you streaming right now? Oh, yeah, I've been streaming... I don't know how many... I've been streaming for like 20-something hours. Or no, oh, wow. I've been awake for 20-something hours, but I've been streaming uh, for close to 20. Like 18. Damn, minutes. you're hardcore, dude. <laughs> no. I just, I've always wanted to try it, but, um, it's, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it, it's pretty rough. This is the first, your first time streaming? No, this is my first time doing a 24 hour stream, but no. Oh yeah, Jesus. Yeah. I, I've never done one. I don't think I ever will. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's brutal, man. Absolutely. So I have a few questions here for you. Do you mind if sure. I, uh, just shoot them out at you? Yeah, for sure, man. Let's get started. All right. So where did the name Ben Rookie come from? <clears throat> um, my original name in Counter Strike 1.6 was Kabuki, like K A B U K I, and I had that tag on CS 1.6 for years and years. And when I started playing WoW, the first character I ever made was my last name, Venzel, oh. and I decided to make a mage alt because I was I was losing a lot on my frail druid to one of my buddies in duels. So I decided to make a mage, and because my last name was already taken, I wasn't sure what I wanted the name to be, so I tried to just make it a combination of my last name, Venzel, and my old CS handle, Kabuki, and came up with the Venruki. So let me get this straight. The reason why Venruki the Mage was made in the first place was pure competitively to beat another person in a duel? Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I, was, I was playing, I played with my friend Joe, and I would always beat him in any video game we played, and now all of a sudden I was losing, so I figured there must be something wrong with my class, and I made a different one. That's pretty... That's pretty epic, man. So, uh, so jumping off of that, how did uh, World of Warcraft come into your life? Did Joe introduce you? Um, no, I actually saw a commercial for it. I played a lot of Warcraft 3, and then I saw oh. a commercial for WoW, and I bought it, and I started playing it, but my computer wasn't good enough. Like, I, I just played it, and it was really slow, and it was awful, basically. <laughs> and then I actually quit for, like, six, seven months and went back to Counter-Strike, and then eventually I saw a buddy of mine who I played CS with on WoW, and it looked just looks so good on his computer. I was like, "Wow, this is what the game's supposed to be like! Like, this is awesome." And uh, then I ended up buying a new computer and playing it. I went through a very similar experience. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, so you are pretty established. I mean, everyone who's in the PvP community knows the name Ben Ruki. But when did you realize that you were like you were one of the best? You were. When did I realize I was one of the best? Yeah. Um. At level 60, all I did was duel. I just duel, duel, duel. And on the realm forums, I was playing on the server Deathrock, and on the realm forums, they would always post like the best of each class for Horde and Alliance. And I always go out of my way to like go duel those players and beat them. And eventually, it was just always my name there, you know, on Horde, Mage, and Ruki every single time. And I got kind of known for dueling that way. And then when Arenas came out, because everyone kind of knew me, they wanted to like play with me, so I had access to like all the best players, and I just kind of got. Uh, I just played a lot, and the way to get good at any game is to play and lose, play with with and against the best people, you know. I love that. So you can improve yourself. Yeah. But when did when did I know I was really good? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. To be honest with you, I still I still feel like I still feel self conscious about my gameplay, and uh, <laughs> I always am looking to like critique and better myself. So, I, when did I realize? I, I, have, I have no idea. I just let other people tell me. I, I don't really think that myself. Wow. That's pretty humble, man. I mean, like, you have, like, the best, like, track record that out of any other mage that I know. But we're not going to go into mage comparisons, because I'm not yeah. a fan of that. <laughs> next question. You probably, yeah. So, uh, my next question is, what was your favorite arena season and why? Favorite arena season and why? My favorite arena seasons were season three and season four. Uh, I played a rogue mage druid with a rogue named Gammer and Soda, and uh, we just it was just a lot of fun because we played. Soda played warrior druid in twos, and he had that cleaned up like he just owned everyone. Yeah, but in threes and fives, we played together, and it was really competitive. The reason I liked it so much is because getting rank one seemed like it was a challenge. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. People really cared about it, and 
It wasn't like one team got really high and just sat on their rating. It was the last day of the season. Everyone's queuing. You know, winning and losing games actually matters for getting rank one. You know, you one game off. So it just made it really exciting and fun. So I'd say season three and four. Season three and four. As a rep paladin, those were not mine. <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, so with all this hype going on around Wad and stuff like that, I just wanted to see what your two cents is. Uh, what does Wad really need to bring to the table? I mean, World of Warcraft right now, the state of arenas, I wouldn't say is ideal to be competitive. What do you think Wad needs to bring to the table to make Wild Arena more competitive? More competitive. What do you mean when you mean more competitive? Like, I mean like, uh, more. I'd say more balanced. Uh, I'd say like balance would bring more competition. Uh, taken more seriously as like a a competitive online game, like like games like Counter Strike. I don't think it. To be honest, I don't think it'll ever get that way, just because of how many classes there are. It just it's, yeah. it seems to me that. With how many classes there are, it's almost impossible to balance. Like at one point, um, there's only like five viable classes or six viable classes. You know, there's Mage, Warlock, Rogue, Warrior back in like TBC and Wrath for a long time. Like you didn't see Red Pallies. <laughs> what the hell is a Red Pally? You didn't see Boogans. Those are just like joke classes that nobody played. You know what oh, I mean? Oh man. Rip and I'm, not, I'm, I'm just I saying. I know, I know. I'm playing with you. It man. just the game's <laughs> a lot easier to balance when there isn't. But now everyone just expects their their specs to be good. Like, oh, RK needs to be good. Oh, Fire needs to be good. Oh, Frost needs to be good. And it just makes it yeah. a headache for no, a Blizzard yeah. to balance. Absolutely. But I think uh, I like what they're doing. I like how they're removing some abilities. I like how they're kind of changing it up, making it a little bit slower, like removing some of the CC. Yeah. It's just nice. It's like a whole meta shift. You know, the game changes so much. It just becomes, like, new and exciting again. Oh, and man, the hype is real. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, so... My next question for you is, why do you think WoW Arena uh, isn't a popular, isn't as popular to watch as, like, say, like LOL, Dota, StarCraft Two, like uh, th those different uh, games? Like, they maintain this viewership that just drives the money, drives the esports bandwagon. Uh, I think the main reason, to be honest with you, is it's not spectator friendly. Like, mm. you can, if you're, if you're new to gaming, you've never played League of Legends before, you can hop in a league stream and like see health bar, like easily see like health bars and kind of. No, I got a little bit of lag. I can wait. All right, ready. You ready? Ready. Sorry. Go okay. Ahead. Um, you want me to start from the beginning? Uh, I saw health bars. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's just it's a. Games like StarCraft and games like League are just a lot easier for new players to like understand. You know, they can watch the stream and kind of just get it a lot easier. Whereas WoW, there's just there's so many abilities, there's so much going on. There's like, you know, there's three players on each team, and there's like five totem, or there's like ten pets or something sometimes, <laughs> and there's just all these abilities all over the screen, and nobody knows what the hell that's going on. Even, even a lot of the time, to be honest, with with the worst UIs. Me, who's been playing this game for eight years and plays in the competitive scene, like a lot of the time, I didn't even know what was going on in the arena, and it just made it really like, it just I can't, it's just hard to watch. You know what I mean? Sounds to me like all the problems that WoW Arena has when becoming a serious competitive game all boil down to the just the sheer amount of variables that need to take into consideration. The the balance, there's just too much to take into consideration to balance it, and there's just too much uh, things going on to watch it and to enjoy. I don't it. think there's been any game like WoW before competitively right. you know what I mean there's, there's always been FPS and there's I mean MOBAs are kind of new but the game's simple enough to it where you know it makes for an exciting eSport right. I still think WoW's a lot of fun and I think I don't know maybe I'm biased but <laughs> yeah it just it's gonna be hard to bring to the masses just because of how hard it is to get into you know <laughs> yeah so my next question for you what is your most memorable moment in your gaming career your whole career most memorable moment in my whole gaming career. I'd have to say it was there's a couple moments that were really really good, but I'd have to say the mo the best moment ever was winning BWC, like winning the Blizzard World Championships in 2012 for a lot of reasons, but the main reason was I finally felt like I beat the game. You know, there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing more I could do as a PvPer. That's the best thing you could do. That's the biggest achievement you can get. The so, final boss. It, yeah, basically, yeah. It, it was a Long, hard road to get there and finally win, but totally worth it. It was awesome. I mean, you still had some results after that. I mean, you kept going. You kept going on and on. 
you know? Yeah, after, <laughs> after that happened, I kind of, I was like, maybe, maybe I should just quit the game, you know, there's not too much going on, but it's still, like, fun. It's still exciting. Dude, that's awesome. That's what it's all about, it's the fun. It's all about fun. All about fun. Okay, mm -hmm. so any future plans for your stream? Uh, for my stream, I'm, I think I'm just going to keep going. Uh, now that the WAD beta is out, it should be good. I want to try uh, like transitioning into other games, like other games I find like exciting, maybe single player, maybe multiplayer, whatever, just like maybe once a week, twice a week, start like playing other games to try to yeah. get used to my audience watching me play that and just honestly better myself as like a streamer. Because right now I feel like kind of stuck on WoW and a part of it is my own fault and I, I think I could really I can still really grow as like a streamer and as an entertainer so that's uh, that's basically all I'm working on well hey uh, as part of your audience I really enjoyed that one game you played with your buddy um, what was it? it was like NS2. natural selection? yeah that was, a, that was a good time to watch I've never seen that game before and I had a lot of fun watching that so well thanks man I appreciate that no problem and it also like brought in your viewership like you'll get more people from different games you know? yeah exactly uh, and you definitely, I think your personality is one to latch onto. I mean, you're so friendly in your stream. Like, you, you just kind of, like, make everyone feel like you're at home. Like, when I get home from work and I see that you're streaming, I'm like, nice, I can go and relax and watch Venruki. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Good so, uh, yeah. So, you did play a little bit of the alpha, right? Uh, yeah, yesterday I played for, like, six, seven hours. So, I mean, like, it is the alpha, but, like, what's, what's, your, what's your first impressions on the game? My first impressions are so it's hard for me to like draw any real conclusions, especially with like a lot of shit being messed up. But I, uh, I don't know. I feel like some casters are going to struggle. I can't say that for sure, but I, I, I don't feel that strong on my mage when fighting against melee, like fighting against like death knights and rets and like enhancement shaman. <laughs> just felt like I was really uh, yeah. disadvantaged in terms of like dealing damage because I have to cast everything now and it seems like melee didn't lose any of their mobility. Right. So they still just like have such high uptime on you. Yeah, I noticed that your bars look like barren. They like took all of your tools away. Yeah, it's weird. On my monk it's the same class, but on my mage I lost everything. It's weird. I literally I, I can't even fill up like three action bars worth of abilities. <laughs> it's alpha, fingers crossed, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh... So the Skillcap Gaming House, you still get questions on this. You're still like, are you still at the Skillcap Gaming House to this day? I just want to ask a quick question about it. What was your overall experience like at this gaming house? And uh, do you think that something like that gives an edge to a player when playing like a game like WoW? I mean, StarCraft Two and stuff like that I can see, but WoW Arena, do you think it gives nah. like an edge? Not really? No, not at all. I, it was a lot of fun, though. They're a great group of guys. Like, all of them, Rekful, Soda, Talbadar, Tosan, Ayume, uh, CU. It was all. It was. It was a pleasure being able to live with them for whatever five, six months I did. But I, no, I didn't feel like it gave us any sort of advantage. It also. It honestly, like, because we're all such like big nerds, it was finally like, oh look, we have friends. We can go out and like <laughs> hang out and like go eat and do whatever, you know. Hey man, you're was, socializing though. Like, it's very entertaining. So that okay. was a good time. <laughs> so. uh... Final question, um, do you watch streams in your free time, and if so, what are your favorite channels? Oh man, you can put me on the spot like that. <laughs> Putting you on the spot, man. I had a few other ones I was going to ask you about, but uh, that, that was the, the riskiest one I was going to do. <laughs> oh man, my favorite streams. Let's, let me take a look, alright, let me look right. at, uh, I do watch streams in my spare time. A lot of the time it's one of those things I just have like in the background, you right. know, but um... Let's see. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't want to answer this question. <laughs> okay. I, I'd say I spend a lot of time in like Snuts' stream. I like watching. Um, I like watching man. Soto when he streams. I like watching Vanguard's a lot because he's just like such a calm, cool, collected arena player. He is. Yeah. Um, I like watching Watch Me Blink. You know, he's very exciting. There's a few other smaller channels that I like to hang out in just because my friends are in there. But yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the final question. I know I lied. I have one more question, and that question right. is, can my fiance come into the call and ask you a question of hers? Sure. Okay, Why she's not? a big fan of yours as well. All right. All right. <laughs> there you go, babe. Oh, oh. All failed. Can you not get in here? Oh. Huh. There you go. 
Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I didn't actually have a question. I just wanted to say thank you so much for um, letting David interview because I know <laughs> he really, really appreciates it and he's constantly talking about you and constantly watching your stream. So I just know that you're a big inspiration to him and I just wanted to say thank you so much. Wow. wow. That's so nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> Damn. I didn't know that wasn't that even was a question happen. or anything. I'm that just was all just... blushed and everything. All right. <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, seriously, uh, your stream is definitely like a beacon for me when, when it comes to, um, I really like watching competitive play, and I think that I learn more from your position as a mage within the game when it comes to like new meta changes, when it comes to things like that, and I take that directly into my content, my YouTube channel, I got like 5,000 subscribers or so, and those guys just eat it up when it comes to new things that I learn from watching your stream, so like, there's no spectating, spectator mode yet, like they're like in StarCraft or anything, so I have nothing to go off of other than like high rated players and from your perspective you have a very good third person view where you take a take a step back and look at the game for what it is and that's how, how I learned so much so quickly so I just oh thanks man that means a lot yeah that's what I try to do try to be as, as objective as possible you know yeah don't let a big ego get in the way it's awesome <laughs> well thank you so much for doing this man I really appreciate you taking the time out to do it after a long day of streaming and uh I'm getting closer and closer to 24 hours, so I get to go to sleep soon. I am so <laughs> excited. I don't know how you're still I right. didn't put two and two together when I first asked you to do this, that I was going to have like 30-something hours of uh, me being awake when I was asking you these questions. <laughs> I am. Oh, you, you did a good job. All okay. right. <laughs> thanks, Very man. good host. Very good. All right. So, <laughs> thanks, man. Thank you for answering your questions, and I will see you in the stream. Yeah, no problem, man. See you later. later. Thank you. Bye. 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 Well, that went well. What do you guys think? Did I do a good job? Did I do a good job, guys? Here, I'm going to join Hannah's call again.